Hey guys, how's it going? Jose here. So I am back with another video and this time we're going to take a look at the new 2018 Samsung TV lineup for 2018. All the NU series, all the QLED, Q9, Q8, Q... Dude, we're going to have everything right here. Everything that I know so far on the new Samsung TV. So sit back, relax, and let's, uh, let's roll the intro. So I usually do all my research and I do my script and I edit my video and I put it all together. It takes hours for me to do it like a five or 10 minute video. This time it's gonna be a little bit different. I have so many things to do. I have so many videos to edit, to upload and, and, and I have work. And so I decided to make this a little bit different. I hope you guys like the new format. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? But this is gonna be like more of a personal thing because now we're gonna go through all this together, you and me. So in this case, if I miss something, if I miss a specific topic from this, let me know in the comments below. You guys are welcome to comment all the time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. And uh, so let's do this, guys. Yeah. Now, if you are new to the channel, last month, or actually not last month, in January, I went to CES 2018. And as far as I remember, the first thing I noticed from that video is that Samsung didn't have any TVs to show. They only have it like an 8K TV, which looked pretty decent, pretty good. <laughs> decent, it was pretty good TV. But they also had this big micro LED TV they called the wall. Yes, the wall. Samsung built it first. Beat you to it, Trump. So anyways, that's the only thing they had about TVs. The rest of the stuff they had, it was just about, uh, you know, smart homes, smart items, appliances and everything. But honestly, I, I don't really care that much about smart things. And now, fast forward until now, and now they do have all these new TVs lineups that are coming up. And they're coming up pretty much in a few more days. In March, as a matter of fact, in March 18, the NU models are coming up in March 18, and the QLEDs, I think, is March 23rd. So let's take a look at this new NU models and what is the difference between these ones and the ones that we had before. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit, the specs and everything. Pricing, pricing is very important too. So first ones over here, we have the 65 inch and 55 inch NU7100. Now, if you look at these ones, guys, over here, the first thing I notice is that, okay, wheel chip week of March 18. So yeah, March 18, we're gonna be, they're gonna be shipping out. Over here, you can see the specs of this TVs, 4K UHD, flat TV, 120 motion rate, and UHD dimming. They advertise this as 120 motion rate. So 120 motion rate on TVs usually means that the native motion rate is gonna be 60 Hertz of, mo of motion rate which I don't think this is really cool on a TV, especially because it's 2018 and you're paying what? How much is this? 65 inch is $1,100, 55 inch is $900. Honestly, I, I think it's a good price. Uh, this is kind of a high, but it's for what you're getting, is I'm not very excited about this. That is one thing for sure. Uh, another thing I noticed that on this TV is going to have compare oh this one the base the stand i'm sorry so the stand right here on this picture i noticed that the stand it looks chrome it looks pretty nice right stainless steel kind of chrome and everything and then you're going to have the ability to hide your cables with the stand so this works if you're going to use the stand i don't think it's going to matter if you're going to use a wall mount but if you guys see the picture right here on the tvs the stand over here looks completely different <laughs> you guys can see it looks completely different it looks like it's just a black color the same color as the tv uh, stand so i don't know if it's going to be this black or if it's going to be like uh like the, the chrome one because of course the chrome one the stainless steel one looks even better now looking at the tv from the back i like that everything is just on one side and on, over here it's just pretty much as it has always been right and i'm assuming the cables are going to run through this this one right here just in case if you need to run the cables on this side or maybe you can just run it on this over here through this stand 
Now let's go. Another thing that I noticed I wanted to show you here is that the remote they're going to be using. Where is it? Oh, this one. This remote, this is a standard simple controller. Some people may like using all those buttons. To me, they're pointless. I don't use 99% of those buttons I don't use. I only use some specific ones. Now let me show you what I have. This is behind me is the Samsung KS 8500. This is a 2016 model, which is the one of the high end, well, mid high end models. And that one did include the smart controller, which is this one. This is very small. This, this is very simplistic controller, but it has everything that you need. I love this controller. It has everything that you need on your finger, on your fingerprints and uh, at the, you know, uh, the space that you need to use and the buttons, the specific buttons, and that's it. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about this is that it offers UHD dimming, as you guys can see on this thing, UHD dimming. This Samsung website doesn't really explain much about what this is all about, but let me tell you just a little bit of how it is. So UHD dimming, it's probably going to be like the local dimming, which having local dimming on a TV is very important for your contrast. So these TVs are going to be edge lead TVs. Having local dimming on an edge lead TV is almost useless because I don't know if you don't know much about this, but let me explain to you just a little bit how this works. So H, uh, having local dimming, it means that you can have better contrast because some areas of the TV are going to be dimmed out when there's like a black and, and a bright image. So you're going to have a, the blacks are going to be, you know, better blacks and the colors are going to be brighter. That's how local dimming works. But then for it to work, better you're going to have a full array local dimming which means that the whole back of the tv is going to light up but these tvs are edge lit which means that these tvs are going to be illuminated either from the side or from the bottom usually samsung tvs are uh led tvs are powered from the bottom which means like let's say for example let me show you just a little bit what i mean about that okay Here's a sample right over here. You see how the moon is right here? The moon is very bright, right? So actually TVs are coming out, the lights are coming out from the bottom right over here. So in order for it to be this bright, the light has to run through all this right over here and then boom, light up right exactly at the moon. So even if with local dimming, when the light is running through all this area right over here, there's gonna be blooming. That's what we call blooming. So what happens is like if this is this area, let's say this is area, there's black, there's nothing else. It's just this white dot right over here. You're going to see it all this blooming because the light is running through it. So having a full array local dimming is not going to eliminate all this completely, but it sure is going to make a big, huge difference. Now, if you want to truly want to see a 100% contrast, take a look at what all the TVs look like. Now, all the TVs have the ability to turn this all these LEDs on and just turn on the ones that you need. That's why all the TVs look so high end, look so picture is almost like perfect because it has the power to turn all the, all, all these LEDs and just turn on the ones that you need. But on an edge lead TVs, well, the biggest difference on edge lead TVs is that they're very thin. You see, the TVs are usually very thin but they have that problem over here now full array tvs that are usually a little bit thicker and i'm thick when i'm saying thicker it's not they're gonna be like like those old school tvs they're gonna be like maybe an inch thick maybe an inch and a half no more than an inch probably but you're going to have better picture quality better contrast another important thing about having a local full array full array local tv local dimming is that how many dimming zones you're gonna have. Because if you have a full array, but you have like poor dimming zones like the X900E, it's a, an excellent TV, but it only has 36 dimming zones. And still it's a good TV, the image looks great. But the more zones you have, then more chances are that less blooming there's going to be. So for example, if you have a zone, you, if you have a lot of zones, 
which means that they're going to just illuminate that those zones right over here now zones are divided by like little squares like maybe like an inch square so let's say that this moon right this moon has zone right here and here and here but let's say like this zones right over here on the edge of the moon they're sharing they only need to turn on half of the zone well if you have just low amount of zones then this zone is going to illuminate the whole zone not just half of it it's going to turn on the whole zone which means that you're going to have blooming all around the moon too that's why it's so important to have the more zones you have on a full array local dimming the better contrast you're going to have and less blooming less light bleed and everything now that's why all it stands out so much better than this lcd led tvs uh, another thing that I noticed on these Samsung TVs is that they're, they're going to implement HDR10. Now, <laughs> I know this is kind of complicated, but this is, the way I'm going to explain this to you guys is going to be super simple if you don't understand about HDR10. All right, guys. So HDR10 Plus is going to, like it says right here, just as the director intended, enjoy stunning high dynamic range content, including the latest HDR10 content, which adjusts picture quality scene by scene. That is pretty much what HDR10 Plus is going to do and Dolby Vision does. So yeah, these TVs are going to have HDR10 Plus. Hopefully this model, right, the one right over here, is going to get an update for HDR10 Plus because the biggest difference is just that this is going to be changed scene by scene instead of having just a lot of colors or a lot of brightness or, or a lot of contrast in one scene this is going to be dynamically changing depending of what scene you have if let's say you have a brightness right over here the sun and then suddenly it changes to a dark scene over here you know even if you're playing video games or even if you're play, watching movies having a dynamic uh changing on the becoming adjusting the image according to the the picture that you're seeing this is good this is good news so yeah that is how these tvs are going to have hdr10 implemented and i'm talking about this one is going to be on the nu7 series which is which is good now the 7 series uh 7300 for example this one right here is at 800 which is a 55 inch glass this is pretty good now i think i i already went through it but let's jump into the nu8 series which is going to be right over here now this one it comes in different sizes it starts off at 50 oh no 49 inch 49 inch side size which is a thousand dollars and it jumps all the way up to 82 inch god damn four thousand dollars for an 82 inch size tv now let's take a look let's let's stay with the 55 inch because usually that's the size that i go for now also oh actually this one will ship on march 11. just a few more days guys four more days actually it'll start shipping out that's 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 good all right so let's take a look at this one and nu8000 which is more of like a mid higher end mid size higher end uh, mid tier tv one thing i like about this one is the stand you see the stand right over here this uh, is it's like in the middle in between in, in in the middle of the tv which is something that i always look forward because when you have the stands on each side they it means that you're gonna have the furniture bigger than your tv because the stand is gonna be like on each side now if you have it in the center you don't have to have a bigger furniture that, that big of a size for example, right over here on my TV, I had to use the wall mount because the, the furniture that I have is not big enough for the TV to stand. It's just, I couldn't put it in there. So I had no option just to hang it on the, on the TV, which I don't complain, I like it a lot. But that is something to consider and I'm glad that the, the NU8 series has that. Now, another thing that this one also features the HDR10+, Plus, which is good and with dynamic crystal color discover expand colors i'm assuming this one will have a wide color gamut that's why they oh yeah experience a wider range of colors <laughs> yeah it means that it's going to have a white color gamut but breath taking contrast c movie is just like so this is with the hdr 10 plus 
okay this is what it's going to be now you if you notice between the nu7 series and the nu8 series now these ones are fully advertising the hdr10 plus right over here even though the other one says that they support it but i think it's missing the white color gamut so that's why they don't really make a big deal out of it now this one is going to have enjoy smooth crisp action fast scenes with motion rate 240 now like i said before usually on tv is the motion rate that they they uh they they mention here is just interpolated which means that the native one is going to be 120 so the nu8 series is going to have 120 native uh, motion for which is good like a, like it says this is what motion rate does enjoy smooth crisp action even in the fastest scene motion rate and trust me this is good so this to be uh, I'm, I'm i'm happy to say that this is going so good good so far four times the clarity well yeah this is that is what 4k does eliminate clutter uh another cool thing is is about the clutter for the cables this is good this is also featured on the other the nu7 series a stunning 3d 360 design well they're just talking about how good the tv looks even in the rear and i like when things look good in the rear ladies so anyways <laughs> anyways if you're having this tv let's say in an office or something that is in your desk and there's people behind it and just looking at your tv oh nice rear end on your samsung oh thank you <laughs> i knew that have a 360 now another feature that i noticed on this one is that they're going to have the gaming the the game mode automatically turn on when you turn on your console now i don't know if i am a big fan of this i'm gonna see what happens hopefully they also offer a manual uh mode because let, let's think about something let's say that the, you turn on your xbox right let me see if this explains this a little bit more no it doesn't really explain it it does samsung what are you doing so uh, for what i understand is the game mode will turn on as soon as you turn on your console or your playstation or your xbox but what if you're gonna watch movies on your xbox that's what i use my xbox to watch 4k movies or maybe a blu-ray movie on your playstation 4 pro well i don't want to use game mode because game mode turns off a lot of filters for example the motion plus if you want to use that or or uh, other filters like more vibrant colors game mode turns off all those filters because when you're playing video games you want to have the lowest input lag so hopefully i have a manual setting that i can turn that off because i don't want it to you know adjust to game mode every time i want to watch a movie on my xbox so let's see what happens with that one that is something that i'm concerned about that we're going to take a look at that one also then nu8 series it offers the one remote like the one that i have i showed you earlier today which is good i like that also they feature bixby now if you're a big fan of bixby i'm not a big fan of bixby well this is going to have bixby assistance right over here i, I don't really do any uh any uh and you i don't use those those voice commands and i'm gonna show you why i don't use it for example this tv has the voice command right this controller right over here and i want to do something simple let's say for this one turn off tv i don't have the ability to run the function you just requested i don't have the ability to run the function you just requested i don't even what part of turn off tv you don't understand right uh, uh, Power off TV. I'm afraid I did not complete your request. You see what I'm saying? It's just I don't need to learn the language or the TV to just to turn off that goddamn TV, right? It's just pointless. Maybe Bixby is gonna fix that, but who knows? It's just that I don't use those commands. The only one that I use is for the one for Google, and that's it. So also this one is gonna have smart connection to your smart devices on your house in your room now keep in mind all this all these companies they want you to have smart devices i'm not a big fan of smart devices i don't even have uh smart speakers or anything uh, nevertheless a smart refrigerator i have one that barely opens but 
if you are a big fan of this well this one is going to give you notifications hey your, your clothes is ready on the laundry oh hey uh, the, the stove your tea is ready uh, stuff like that which for some people is going to be good not i'm not a big fan of that and also it's going to connect to your you know download the app it connects to your phone i mean it's going to have a lot of more features that is that is actually really cool seamless setup with your smartphone yes uh, well this is what i said you know it's gonna cycle watch your cycle completed please come and get your dirty underwear bring the theater home theater to you it's gonna it's a smart tv of course and what else it connects to your you know your pc or your phone uh, what else is gonna have that is pretty much it i don't know it, this one doesn't say anything about local deeming but i'm pretty sure it's gonna have something like that 360 design and everything all right guys so those are the tvs the budget more friendly budget tvs from samsung they're gonna have and this one is gonna be ready in just four days so if you want to pre-order this tv the 55 inch starts at 1200 dollars now from this one and the neu7 i st i still prefer this one i think this one is going to have more premium stuff i like the remote controller better i like the stand better i like the the motion 240 motion better it's going to be better also it's going to have a white color gamut which is good I don't know how many peak uh, brightness is going to have needs needs of peak brightness is going to have uh, but it looks like it's going to be much better than the 7 series now let's take a look oh it's going to have different sizes too so if you want a 49 inch there you go it's going to be a thousand dollars and 55 inch is going to be a little bit better